in this problem we have the transportation cost given as factory from 1 f1 to warehouse 1 is 5 from factory number 1 to warehouse 2 is 7 likewise we have a complete distribution is given in addition to this we have a production cost at factory 1 is rupees 4 it means that the cost of this production from f1 to warehouse 1 will become 5 plus 4 that equals to 7 plus 4 equals to 11 3 plus 4 equals to 7 8 plus 4 equals to 12 whereas the production cost for unit number 2 is 3 so the total cost will become 4 plus 3 that is 7 6 plus 3 that is 9 9 plus 3 equals to 12 5 plus 3 equals to 8 and for unit number 3 it's a 5 rupees so this cost will become 7 this one is 6 plus 5 11 4 plus 5 4 plus 5 9 and 5 plus 5 that equals to 10 we want a product so what is total demand is 800 plus 1000 and this one is also 1000 so this is balanced transportation problem we will prepare the basic physical solution using the penalty method. So what is the penalty for the first row? The minimum cost is 7 and next is 9. So this equals to 2. This one is lowest number is 7. Next number is 8. So penalty is 1. This one is 7. Next number is 9. So this one is 2. On the column side, this one is 0. 7 and 7 is 0. 9 and 11 is 2. 7 and 9 is 2 and 8 and 10 is 2 so we have a lot of tie this 2 is also tie this 2 is also tie all these 2 is tie so what we do first we will find out the lowest cost in this one the lowest cost in this one is 7 the lowest cost in this one is also 7 so it is also tie ok check out lowest cost is 9 lowest cost is 7 lowest cost is 7 so we have to select 7 one so let's select this one this arbitrary choose and this one is lowest cost so we can allocate maximum what is the maximum available 300 how much you have to supply 400 so we can supply 300 this is cancel out 100 left because of this one this row is cancelled now 7 9 12 8 7 and 8 are the two nearest number so this is 1 7, 11, 9 and 10, 7 and 9, so this number is 2, 7 and 7, 0, 9 and 11, 2, 12 and 9, 3, and 10 and 8, so this one is 2, so maximum is penalty column, the lowest cost is 9, so how much we can allocate, 100, so this is cancel out, how much stock left, 100 is left, so we have to cancel this column because it is exhausted now 7 9 8 1 7 11 10 7 and 10 3 7 and 7 0 9 and 11 2 8 and 2 10 so maximum penalty is 3 so in this 3 call row we will see the minimum cost minimum cost is 7 can we allocate 200 or we can allocate only 100 only 100 so this equals to this strike off this left is 100 so row is over so cancel the row cells are left only 2 now any attention is required no so we will directly 100 left here so 100 is allocated 100 is left here so 100 is allowed so that is cancel out 300 here so 300 here that is cancel out rows 3 number of column 4 minus 1 equal to 6 see the location 1 2 3 4 5 6 so that is number of occupied cell so this is okay for the initial basic feasible solution so the cost obtained by penalty method is we will check this solution is optimal or not optimal so for this we will calculate u and v so let's start with this one this one is v1 
for occupied cell Cij equal to Ui plus Vj. To start with this, we will allocate V1 equal to 0. So if this is 0, this number is 7 so, and this is 2. So 7, 7 plus 0 is 7. That is V1 and this U2 is this number. This one is 7, so this also equals to 7. 0 plus 7 is 7. Now this occupancy cell, this number is 9. This number has this 7, so this value equals to 2. 2 plus 7, 9. This occupancy. We don't know V3 and we don't know U1, so skip it. Come to 9. This is 7, so this equals to 2. So this is 2, so 7, so this number is 5. 5 plus 2, 7. Now we can come to this. This one is 8, this one is 7, so this equals to 1. 7 plus 1 is 8. So let's start with this number. This one is 1, 1. So delta 1, 1. Cij for this one is 9. Corresponding row value is 5. Corresponding column value is 0. Delta. Now this is complete. So we'll go for this one. This delta 1, 2. This cell is 11. Corresponding row value 5. Corresponding column value 2. 5 plus 2, 7. So this number is 4. This one. This one is 3, 2. This is 11. Minus corresponding row value 7. Corresponding column value 2. 9. And this one is 2. Next we will go for this cell. This one is delta 2, 3. Cost is 12. Minus corresponding row value 7. Corresponding column value 2. 7 plus 2, 9. So this is 3. Then we will come to this number 1, 4, 12 minus corresponding row value 5. This value is 1, 6. Delta. This number 3, 4. This value is 10 minus A is 2. So this time all delta H are positive. Okay? All values are positive. So this is the optimal solution. Is seven nine double zero. We have given a dairy firm has three plants located through the state. Dairy mill production at each plant is as follow: for plant one six million, plant two one million, and for plant three ten million liters. Each day the firm must fulfill the needs for four destination centers. Minimum requirement as each center for distribution seven, two, three, and four. They are seven five to three and two. So we have a distribution center equals to 1, 2, and we have supply here. And we have a plant 1, 2, 3. And we, the cost is 1. This is the cost for this. Then what is the manufacturing? At plant 1, 6. And plant 2, 1. Plant 3, 10. And what is the demand? For this one is 7. For this one is 5, this one is 3, this one is 2 and this one is 70 and 70. So balanced transportation. It says that you select the minimum cost inside this one. So if the minimum cost is 0, maximum you can allocate equal to 1. So this will become 4. So is the capacity of plant 2 exhausted? Then out of the remaining cell, minimum cost is 2. Maximum 6. So we can allocate 6. So this is exhausted. That equals to 1. Because of this one, this plant capacity is exhausted. What is the next cost minimum? The next minimum cost is this is 5. We can allocate 1. So allocate. So what is left? 9. So can we? Column 1 now. is completely exhausted. Now 3 cells are left. Which is the minimum cost? 8. Can we give this one? 4 so 4 is so this left is 5 so I think we can fill up this now this one is 2 and this one is 3 so the cost using list cost is 112 in first row 2 3 so 2 and 3 that equals to 1 1 0 so 1 5 8 so 5 and 8 is 3 this column 1 and 2 
1 0 and 3 3 6 and 14 is 8 1 and 7 6 so maximum penalty is at this point that is 8 and in this case the minimum cost is 6 so can we allocate minimum of 1 and 3 that equal to 1 so this left is 2 strike off this row there is no change so penalty is 1 there is no change so penalty is 3 there is a change here so 2 and 5 is 3 there is a change here 3 and 8 is 5 this one is 14 and 15 is 1 7 and 9 is 2 so maximum penalty is 5 lowest cost is 3 not assigned to 0 now this one is 5 because that is already strike off so this is 5 this one is 3 can we allocate 5 units to this you have to allocate minimum of 5 and 6 so we will allocate 5 this cancel out 1 left so this capacity is exhausted solution in this row now. now there is a modification because 1 is cancelled 2 14 7 so 2 and 7 2 and 7 is 5 5 9 4 in this side that equal to what 3 and this one is 14 and 15 is 1 and this one is 7 and 9 is 2 so the largest penalty is 5 in this row you have to select the minimum cost that is 2 so 1 only so we will strike off this quantity we left with 1 so demand required is only now 6 now column row 1 is completely exhausted no need of penalty see the minimum cost first is 5 so allocate maximum of this one that is 6 so this number equals to 4 then the next cost is 9 so allocate 2 here so 2 left now 2 are required here in 15 so 2 and 2 cancel out so the cost in the penalty method is 101 and the cost in this method is 112 so always penalty method is best method